Hello everyone, it's Richard from Longman Tarot um, with an unboxing. This arrived today in the mail. Um, I think I know what it's going to be, but I'm not 100%. I'm hoping uh, it's the Wilder Woven Tarot um, that I backed on Kickstarter. I know that they've been sent out um, and some people have had them for nearly over a week. So I'm hoping it's this. Anyway, we've got an unboxing to do. So I have my trusty knife and um, we are going to get on with the cutting. Always terrifying doing this live or on a video just in case I end up taking a digit off. So um, customs wise for the UK it was Fifteen pounds on top of obviously the 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 price that was paid for the Kickstarter, which I can't remember how much that was. Um, anyway, here we go. Fingers crossed. Yes, I recognise the box. Yes. Let's just get the box out. So it's the it is the world of woven tarot um, and I'm just bowled over by the box um, already so um, let's have a little look at what we get with it we got um, a little I think it's a sticker and this gives you a sense of what the artwork is going to be like for this tarot deck um, with it as well comes an, an extra card um, and there was talk on the Kickstarter project that if a certain um, goal was reached there would be obviously extra extra things happening uh, and these are just you know these are just lovely tokens um, and they mean so much and you know it, it's that kind of wonderful generosity um when somebody's creating a deck i was thinking about this today um just how much time has gone into creating this i've never never done anything like this myself but just the amount of pressure and time and you know the, the communication obviously between printers and sending proof copies and sending things back and i'd like to change this you know that just must be uh, exciting and yet frustrating and tiresome and all those emotions in so anybody that does produce a deck um, particularly on Kickstarter or, or any of the other indie sites must have so much determination and so much patience to see their their creation out there in the world it, it's just such a generous thing okay we have got other bits with it we have got a postcard again this gives you a taster of what's coming up and we have a letter and i'm going to read it to you but you can see it's there and greg who is the who is the uh, artist has actually well it's been personalized so hi richard we did it the purchase made uh, your purchase made this deck a reality there were around 300 pre-orders for the wilder woven tarot so your participation really mattered. Thank you for believing in me and my work. I hope you really enjoy this deck and that it brings you insight and connection to nature. Near the end of this project, I noticed another begin to emerge. I've started working on a true spirit oracle deck. Um, I won't read it all out now, um, but he has signed it, Greg. Um, that is just the loveliest loveliest thing ever i'm going to really treasure that one because you know to get a personal message from the artist when they have so much to do all the unpacking uh, sorry all the packing sending you know that just is just a herculean task managing to get all those decks packed up and sent across the world um so thank you so much greg and i really i really appreciate it as i'm sure 
everybody else's that's back to a project and the artwork from these are just beautiful absolutely beautiful so here's the box we haven't sealed it in plastic um which is really refreshing oh my goodness um not having loads and loads of plastic and single-use plastic particularly that can't be recycled it seems to be the you know the bane of the of the world at the moment and so just to have a box and a, a plain simple box and i know there was lots of uh, lots of communication about this and i think it really works so before we open it let's just have a little look and all we've got is just greg white copyright and a the title of the deck and there is absolutely nothing else on that box and that is what makes it just beautiful absolutely beautiful it's a bark like um, a silver uh, a silver birch kind of uh, bark effect there um, and it's going to be wonderful right let's open it up and have a look So inside you get the the book. I'm not calling them little white books anymore because nowadays I think we've moved on from the idea of them being a small pamphlet. Again, this is just a wonderful book. And the cards aren't sealed either. And I love that. I think that is amazing touch. Um, well done, Greg, for that one. Um, fantastic. So the book... We have our introduction, our understanding the tarot, just some brief paragraphs about the different suits, touching on numerology, and with it, it's a quick flick through. We've got the titles with the upright meanings, um, explanation and suggestions and goes into a bit more depth. Do you know what? That is absolutely nice. It's not too, you know, it, it's, we haven't got the colour pictures. I haven't just done uh, Tarot of the Divine, which has got a lot of colour in it. It's a beautiful deck and a beautiful book. But this one just really fits with the refreshing sort of, attitude that goes with the packaging and everything else that goes with it so um, well done on that one excellent i'm going to put that aside actually let's just have a look i don't think we have got extra cards we've got the tree of life connection invisibility lineage that's exciting like extra cards and the messenger so we have two extra cards so it's a deck of 80 uh the messenger upright means transmission inspiration propagation and a little bit here about the artist greg white grew up along the northern coast of british columbia canada he currently resides in the kootenay mountain range in the charming city of nelson so it's Pacific Northwest. One of the reasons I backed this project on Kickstarter was the video that went with it that Greg had made was just beautiful. We had a lot of countryside, lots of waterfalls and trees and mountains, and it was just such a beautifully produced one. And he had such heartfelt emotion for what he was creating. It was absolute joy. So let's just spread these ones out and we're going to take a look at the deck. So again, they are not in plastic. They come unwrapped.
Well, well, I'm really, really blown away by the artwork. I'm going to apologise for the fact that my camera is not picking up the beautiful, rich colours that these watercolours have been painted in. But I really hope you get a, a sense of the cards from what you've seen, because the colours are much richer. What's, I love the major arcanas. I've pulled out quite a few of those to have another look at. Um, what really surprises me is the suit that I love the most is the swords and that's really unusual because obviously the swords do tend to have quite a dark connotation sometimes. I'm just going to go back to a few that I pulled out from the sword. I thought the seven of swords, the idea of perhaps falsehood or you know a bit of treachery or something going on here and we've got like a cuckoo in the nest here. What a brilliant beautiful way of uh, illustrating that kind of natural uh, idea of it all and you know we've got the different symbols so we've got the air here we had the fire for the insects with the one suit we had a, a mountain design with the um the mammals the earth animals there and we had a water drop for the water of the cup suit there with all the water birds and uh, marine mammals and marine animals i should say so i really like the fact the silhouettes change with that one i thought this was a really beautiful card this one really struck a chord with me looking at it six of swords because obviously at the moment there's a lot of uh, forest fires in in america and it, it really kind of got me a little bit this card i just thought it was beautifully um illustrated but obviously there's you know in the world at the moment that is a uh, quite an important message and the six of swords as we know is travel and moving away from desperate times so i really hope those people who are suffering with the fires in america do get a sense of relief very soon from the dangers there and that the wildlife will recover as quickly as it possibly can another one here was the three of swords now the three of swords of course it's a card a lot of us find quite difficult sometimes to be dealing with because we've got the heartache there and what a, again a beautiful way of telling this uh or, or regaling what this card is if you'd like to think of it that way with this poor dead bird uh, and the the parched land here it looks like it's fallen out of the sky because of drought and the parched land there is actually divided into three parts there and again the heartbreak the loss that that can mean there one of the things that really struck me as so imaginative oh, i can't say how clever um this was is that the animals that are portrayed in here are quite general for most of the countries in the world I would imagine we, we haven't got particularly um, Northwest or North American specific animals in here I don't think it's not quite nice to have a sort of general a general world population of animals rather than being so specific that's what I'm trying to say I think here yeah. some cards that I pulled out that I really liked and I just thought was a very clever choice We've got Judgment and we've got a Mantis here. Now, again, I'm, I don't know if you can see it, but the way it's been painted, so we've got, um, it looks like a starry sky, or at least a very blue summer, summery sky here, and the dandelion seeds taken off. But we've got sort of like where the eyes of the Mantis is, you've got a lot of cloud or, or something in the background to give it that depth to look like the Mantis's eyes are actually there. And if you know anything about a praying Mantis, you know that once it's mated, it tends to eat its partner. I think it's the female eats the male, isn't it? So we've got this idea of judgment here going on with that one and a really nice take on that one. Another card that I thought was so clever was the moon. So we've got um, this bird here. I'm assuming it's an owl or at least it's a raptor. And we've got a tiny mouse that's shadow is being projected onto the cave wall, turning it, making it look like a massive evil monster huge hideous uh, creature 
and of course that's a really good example of what the moon does we we see things that aren't there it's about sort of delusions and delusions and, and all the things that go with it so i thought it was a, a really nice physical take on it i love the star card because of the moth on there now i'm not a great fan of moths but i absolutely love the way that this has been executed with the waterfall and just the one star as a white dot on the wing and it just stands out so beautifully the death card now what's interesting to the uh, tower of the divine um it also has a oh no it has a snake for the devil card doesn't it so i was really interested that the that snakes are quite often used here but again we've got a snake skin a hopefully you can make that out that's been shedded so um although we have the the silhouette of a snake the old skin of the snake has gone he's the snake has grown it's got rid of its old skin and it's turned into something new it's got a, its new life um which is just a brilliant symbol of the death card and actually there isn't anything particularly frightening in that apart from obviously if you're not too keen on snakes choice of the hermit card was lovely um, what I thought was very interesting was having um, strength as a hummingbird. Um, that's going to be a really unusual take on it and one that I'm going to look forward to working with there. I love the joke of the chariot being a snail um, because the chariot often, you know, speed and um, perhaps a bit uh, strength and control and all that. And we've got a snail that obviously is one of the slowest movers in the in the natural kingdom here um but a beautiful illustration um and it's going to again help with perhaps a different take that we might do on the chariot i like the crab for the emperor i like the idea that this crab has got a very hard shell like armor um and the way it's sort of peeking out from it and i have to say i think my favorite card um has to be the high priestess because I love the colours. Humpback whales are my absolute favourite animals. Um, and the fact that the High Priestess is probably one of my favourite cards, combined together with this beautiful illustration with the clouds, with the humpback whale silhouette, and then the, the, the whale actually in it, I absolutely adore this card. I, I, I can't say how much I love it. Um, this is just a fantastic deck greg white you've done a, a brilliant job and i can't wait to see your oracle deck and um, i hope it is just as amazing as this the white you're gonna have to make sure your hands are very clean when you're dealing with these cards because you know they're going to get grubby if you, you're not too careful there but at the moment we're all washing our hands a million times a day so you know it's it's going to be fine um edging wise i don't think the cards have been edged they are in white yeah they're just in white you could edge those cards if you wanted to of course be careful if that's the case because sometimes when we edge cards even weeks or months later the edging comes off and then you're going to end up um um sort of smudging or or making the white backgrounds perhaps a little bit dirty there um but a fantastic deck and you know it's it's got uh, empathy it's got excitement in there the way that the images are relating it's it's you know a, a world away from the rider weight smith images um is that a problem no it's not it's refreshing to have um a different take on stuff but obviously the way some of the images key into some really strong concepts is is, is fantastic um so i'm going to really enjoy using these cards in the next few weeks and see how we're getting on the artwork stunning the bits that come come with it are fantastic i love the letter that was personalized i think that is an amazing uh, personal touch there but the one thing that i love more than anything else is just how ethical this this has been designed and put together there's not a bit of plastic i've said this earlier on in the packaging that came with it it all came with as you saw natural sort of natural straw um it's fantastic and i really hope other publishers and um 
people that produce stuff on Kickstarter take note of that because we don't need to have the plastic that we have with everything in life and this I hope is the start of people taking notice of it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it um, press subscribe for more videos from Longman Tarot more unboxings and more tarot discussions take care